Eve Bethany, look, she had Jill Zarin, big splash, Bethany and Jill. You had Nene Leakes, big splash. You know what I mean? Like she sued Bravo. You know, she's against the, the hierarchy. She's against the regime like Bethany is. She had Raquel Levis, big splash. Who are her next big splashes? I believe she reached out to Ebony regarding this, thinking she could be a big splash. Ebony says, fuck you. I don't need you. It's not going to be on your platform. The other one that I have in my mind will put off, but Kelly, no, this is a, this is a long way of me saying like, oh my God, David, why didn't you think of this? Yeah, I absolutely believe that. Who makes a splash after Nene, after Raquel, after Jill? I got it. Scary fucking go to sleep island. This is the problem with Bethany. Now everyone will come for me. They came for you. Now they're going to come for me. The problem with Bethany is she thinks that she is, as she says, the most successful financially, maybe, but she thinks not to take it back to the brass monkey and the whole scene, but she thinks she's up here and everyone else is down there. So when she reaches out to an ebony, she doesn't expect a fuck Bethany. She expects a let me kiss the ring. When she reaches out to a, to a Kelly, she expects, oh my God, I'm Kelly. I'm desperate. I've been off the show for this many years. This is the big housewife. I get to go on the big podcast with Bethany. So the thing is, when she reaches out to these people, she doesn't realize like you, I would it be shocked if she reached out to Carol Raswell. True. I mean, you that, know, anything think for about it. That makes a splash. Scary fucking island. Kelly's reputation was ruined from that. Kelly came on my podcast, lover. Nobody seemed to really have that didn't seem to do her any good. Go and listen to the, the episode. I thought she was lovely, but all these people listening came for Kelly and said she's just as bad as she was when she was on the damn show. So yeah, that would be huge, huge. She would have Kelly, she would show up, she would have a thing of jelly beans. She would say, Oh, let me, let me let, let's reenact who's a yeah, that would be huge. So I believe it. To be honest with you, you know who I think her, her next victim is? Do you know who I think she's going to get on the podcast next? Who? Ramona Singer. I think she's going to be trying oh, for Ramona next. Genius. That's genius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's really good. Does, yeah, that's really good. Does she want Kelly? Absolutely. The week after Ke Kelly didn't get back, she would have taken her. I bet you she's going to think about it. Brony to Roni. Now, I mean, she already commented and said, it's funny. Did you see her comment where she said, riddle me this? I think it literally said, it said, riddle me this. If Ramona is disinvited to, to BravoCon for being a racist, Andy Cohn went on. Did you see that? Where there was a social media page that said like, it was like some meme and they were like, shocker, Ramona's housewives drink and Ramona's racist, shocker. And Andy put a smiley face on that, an LOL. Oh. Yes. Now, oh. Leah, McS Leah McSweeney has spoken out and said that she was disgusted that Andrew takes this racism, that he laughs at it. So Bethany then said, riddle me this. If Ramona is disinvited to BravoCon for being a racist, shouldn't Andy be disinvited to BravoCon for laughing at a meme that is saying Ramona's racist and housewife's drink? You get it? Then she went on to say, Andy Cohn, yeah. you're going to finally feel like what it is to be a housewife because this is what happens. Every move you make on social media, someone's going to tear you down. I don't know why she's trying to make him feel like he's a housewife. It's like, it's not really his job, but I get her. So that was her point. So once she said that, she kind of went on, I think, to like stick up for, it was like sticking up for Ramona. Like if she can't be banned, she's banned. Why aren't you banned? I guarantee you her next target is Ramona Singer. I guarantee you she's going to want Ramona. Ramona hasn't made one comment yet. She's going to want Ramona to break exclusive. her silence. Yeah, an exclusive. You watch. You heard it here first. Look at Sarah. You know this is true. Kelly Bensimone. Uh, listen, Kelly is really selling a ton of real estate in New York and the Hamptons. Like she's yeah, actually know, yeah. really... I Kelly's not going to do it. I, I have a weird feeling. I don't think she will. Kelly is like that. Too. I don't think Carol Raswell will do it. Ramona. I, I don't know. That one might happen. Watch you watch my words. Ramona's going to do Bethany's podcast. That'd be huge. 
Um, one last topic. What did you make of the slip of Kyle Richards talking about how difficult it was going through a divorce with um, yeah. Mauricio? Uh, she broke down on stage. She left the stage at one point. She came back. She let slip in an interview that this divorce has been so difficult and then separation. Did she leave the stage at some point? Yes, she did. Yes. Yes. Day three. Why? Just because it got too uh, bad about. Yeah. Mauricio? Talking about him. Talking about. Um, uh, well, I what... think they're divorced or heading to divorce. Yes. So it's over, you think? Yes. I don't agree. I mean, Kyle has spoken out against Jeff. I don't agree that she hates him. I do think that, you know, this person was in your life and will always be in your life. I believe, whereas Dorit says, you know, a Dor what about Dorit and uh, Lisa Barlow's very strange, awkward moment where Lisa Barlow tried to, to fangirl and crash Dorit's like, interview? Dorit, that was so weird. Yeah, that was so weird. I mean, did Dorit know who the fuck she was? I don't think so. I actually don't. Oh Do you? I, I thought I Dorit looked so. really off. And I actually felt like Dorit looked a little nervous. Like, who is this? Is this a yeah, fan? Yeah. Or I, I agree. It was very awkward. She didn't realize she was a housewife, I don't think at all. I don't think so either. Dorit ain't sitting home watching Salt Lake Housewives. Um, but I, I think you're right, Kyle. And I think Kyle and Mauricio are going through a divorce, which she let slip and basically said going through this divorce has been the di most difficult thing and then sort of tried to backtrack. And and I'd forgotten this, but I also think, you know, Kyle went into more that her life changed, not because of Morgan, but because of that friend, the dear friend that she had that committed suicide a year ago. Lauren, Lauren Shea or something. Did she say that? Yeah. Yeah. She talked about how that was the catalyst for her, her life change, everything, the fitness, the reassessing the marriage and everything. I've I could see, I could she, see the fitness being the opposite. I, I could see someone just letting it all go being like, who cares if I'm according to Sarah, you should not judge yourself based on your weight. I, I could see someone just being like, who cares? It doesn't matter if I'm fat, thin, like just life is life. It doesn't matter. She but says, I guess she took my best friend to suicide changed me. Okay. Well, I said it was Kathy Hilton. So I guess I was wrong. Mem me remember my theory that she broke away from Kathy and finally feels free. And now she's just going to break away from Mo's control and him saying, Pooh Bear, you're not allowed to get another tattoo, Pooh Bear. You know the rules. Love bug. Um, oh, was it Love Bug? Excuse me. Love so, um, okay. Well, love I Bean. Sorry, Love Bean. Love Bean. Oh, I've never heard the term. Love movie. Bean. I've never heard that used in my life. Um, do, what, what do I think? I think that that was an absolute Freudian slip. And it's very clear what is happening. You're actually going through a divorce, Kyle. Like, you don't just let that slip. And I'm sure she knows how the media works. And she's like, holy fucking shit. And the minute she went backstage or af off the carpet, she texted Mauricio, I fucked up. Deny, deny, deny. She also was really hurt about him. I mean, I watched that Watch What Happens clip again. She's really hurt about him. I didn't realize how hurt she was with him holding the hand up. I mean, I, I knew it, but I didn't realize it was that. And I think that's such bullshit because you've been flaunting this Morgan thing in everyone's face. Um, I think she's with Morgan. I don't think it's all staged. And uh, I think it's not necessarily going to last forever. Um, with a woman who is 28, I think she doesn't mean any, not putting any labels after sexuality. But I think that regardless of all of that, her and Mauricio are done. It is over. They're getting divorced. When Dorit says, I'm not separating with PK, I tend to believe her way more I than do. I, I like, think, look, I right? mean, they're, yeah, I, I think, I think Dorit and PK really love each other. I do. I mean, do I think there's trouble in paradise in the, like, I don't know, right. Are the financial rumors true? I mean, that, that's probably the most challenging part of their marriage, I would say, is like, dude, I don't care. I mean, you know, if you're, they're over a million dollars in IRS, you know what I mean? Whew. Howdy, I'd be sweating. Oh my Lord. My pits would be sweating. My crotch would be sweating. I mean, I hate, I've been audited by the IRS. We, that was too much. I don't believe in debt. They it's no way to, to get live. you on the phone and they are relentless. And oof, I, I don't play with them. So I, I would not want to be, I cannot imagine that's a comfortable place, to, but some people don't mind debt. Some people are like, that ain't nothing. So I don't know, you know, but I think their finances certainly seem to be um, an ongoing issue and they love to live large, which who doesn't, honey, but 
I, I think they're very much in love. I think they'll work it out. Um, it was a pretty amazing BravoCon. I, 